So what do we have here? Okay, this is the BattleBot Bale Spear. Okay. 250 pounds. It was on the TV show. Okay. Um, yeah, it's on the robotics. Yeah. I like the design. Yeah. Deadlift trying to get under Bale Spear. Yeah, not a whole lot of speed there. I don't know. From Deadlift at all up. A little ramp. Use it as a ramp. Nice Bale Spear. Okay, maybe somebody should tell Deadlift when they're not in the school zone. They're allowed to go faster. <laughs> I like the design. Yeah. Pneumatic spear up front. Okay. There's also this fist called the haymaker that he attached to it. Was that made from uh, welded metal? It I looks think like it's a cast, cast iron. iron. Okay, yeah. Drive that spear right into him. It, it looks like it's working now, but uh, the timing on that one wasn't quite right. Under a minute to go. It feels like deadlift uh -oh. has actually gotten its sea legs, and oh no, Bale Spear continues to smoke. There's the pneumatic yeah. part on the Okay. Awesome. Where's the uh, uh, air stored? Oh, wait, right here? Yeah, there's a yeah. compressor on the knee. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's cool. It's not fully connected everything yet. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. You know, we don't want yeah. it to. Yeah, yeah. oh <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't blame you. Yeah, there's definitely some smoke coming from Bale Spear. Let's see if it's moving at all. Yeah, there needs like... to be some sort of controlled movement out of Bale Spear, or the countdown will commence. Ten. There comes nine, the countdown. Eight. Seven. Deadlift six, in its BattleBots debut. Four, Lights three, the victory two, lamp. One. That's a knockout. Or Bale torch. Spear. Winner. Deadlift. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a rapid prototyping specialist, so I, I really like all the different disciplines you put into this. Yeah. Pneumatic, metalworking, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Electrical. He's on loan to us, but we're building a 12-pound combat ro uh, robot right now. We're with South Jersey Combat Robotics. Nice. We're hoping to compete soon. Oh. Aluminium, titanium, iron, copper. Yep. Those. I'm obsessed with elements. Yeah. Yep, Good. I am. Because the different metals, it's so weird that you have different metals. It's yeah. just so cool. And each metal has its own different properties. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with the weight limits yep. being what it is, we have to be very selective about what material yep. we use where and how. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aluminum is underrated for combat robots, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because elasticity also helps because mm -hmm. it can chip, but if it doesn't break, we can still operate. Yep. But uh, with a, like a high carbon steel, if it just ch uh, breaks instead of chipping because of the density, then it's mm -hmm. already heavy and just yeah. Nice. Sense. So, uh, does it run on lithium ion batteries? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to ask too many questions. No, you're good. You're good. I'm we, here to answer questions. We're, we're running a solar powered backpack, a little like roaming exhibit later. But, oh, but before yeah. that starts, we're just going like, to walk around and film people and stuff nice. like that. Yeah. We might come buggy later whenever there's people sure. around just to see. And yeah, we have uh, like a test drive model uh, for omnidirectional. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. So, do you know where the where the where the wheels were sourced, or are they like from a lawnmower or something like that? That's no a good question. Him. I don't know. Probably it's yeah. from a lawnmower or like a mm -hmm. tractor. Yeah, I'm yeah. From like Tractor Supply Co. or something. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. That's honestly the best it's way a, to go. Uh, it's the farmer guy who put this together. Okay, yeah. From everything in his farm. I, I tried building a battle bot in like 2002. <laughs>